Miss Frodo. Today I wanted to show you my Lego The Hobbit bag and set. Um, this is a really huge set. It comes with two huge um, instruction manuals, but it is really cool. This is one of my favorite sets ever. Um, and this is based on the Hobbit version of Bag End. Um, so there are some dwarfs invading Bilbo's pantry, um, as opposed to the Lord of the Rings version where it would have been just him and Frodo. Um, so there's a lot of characters in this one, a lot of cool features. Let's check it out. So this is an overview of what it looks like. I'm going to have to zoom in and kind of show you everything up close. But it is just super cool. There's lots of cool detailing. There's even some of the fencing even has... Um, wood marks on it. So let me take you around the, the ground floor. It's a little shrub, some flowers by the window, a little bucket with some um, carrots and an apple. Hobbits are big on food. More flowers. This is a little bench. You've got the little window here. This is a little lantern. The door with the round doorknob that does open just like a hobbit door. And another window coming over here. We've got more flowers on that windowsill. Here's Gandalf. This is Gandalf the Grey. I'm going to set him to the side for a second. And Bilbo. And he has the short legs. If you can see, if I hold Gandalf up for comparison, they're a little shorter. Lego did this with the hobbits and dwarves because hobbits and dwarves are shorter than most people. And he's just wearing his casual little shirt because he didn't think he was doing anything. And I want to see if he has another face. He does. So he can get very concerned when all the dwarves just barge into his house. That's the face he was making for much of the first movie. All right, put Bilbo aside. And... I can open the gate here. It opens inward. And there's a nice little... There's a little stone path going up to the door. Sorry if I make you sick tilting the camera like that. And... Woo! Looking up, we have uh, a tree growing on top of his hobbit hole. A little chimney there and then some more greenery and leaves because his house is built into the side of a hill. Alright, this is actually a view of the back side of Bag End. This is basically the tree I have Frodo climbing up over the hill. I'm going to tilt down. This set is really, really cool. It comes with so many things. Um, you can also sort of take the roof off. I'm going to try not to break it. There. The roof is only held on by um, four Lego nubs on that side and four Lego nubs on that side um, so that you can take it off so that it's easier for you to play with your hobbit and dwarves. And this set came with one, two, three, four dwarves, and I am going to have to cheat and look up their names. The, um, the Lego. Instruction manual comes with, whoa, that's close. <laughs> it comes with a list of all the little minifigures that you can get with their names in the back, which is pretty cool. I think the warg is pretty cool. I do not have a warg, unfortunately. You can get a goblin. There's, I like the black warg. All kinds of cool characters to collect. So let's see if I can get these right. This is Dwalin. Dwalin does not have a hat or hair on the top of his head, but he does have a big old beard like a dwarf. He's got a little knife and this big old battle axe. And he's got his little belt and everything, a little cloak, and he even has tattooing on the back of his head. Isn't that cool? What happens if we take the head off? Let me see. Oh, it's just, it's just age spots. I thought he might have a different face on that side. Alright, so that is Dwalin. 
going to set him off to the side. This is, okay, Balin. He's a little bit older because his hair is all white. And I've just given him a little knife. And again, you see how short the little legs are because they're dwarves. Next up. is <laughs> he's falling apart this is buffer <laughs> I just lost his hair hold on okay he's got this big old pickaxe here's his shirt up close he's got a really mean expression on his face I like that and his hat and his hair are tied together oh he has another expression some do some don't so he has like a happy face and then like a going to war face yeah and his hat is super cool. And the last dwarf that has invaded Bag End today is, I should know this one, Bomber. Yes, Bomber's the fat one, which is why he has a big old sausage in his hand. He's not actually any bigger um, as a Lego figure except Oh, they did, they, they sort of, his headpiece is actually like bent out, so it looks like his stomach is bigger. That's what he looks like without it. Doesn't look very dwarf-like, does he? So you put that on, and it gives him the little belly that he has as a dwarf. And I really like how they did his beard. There he is again. All right, and with everybody outside, I'm gonna take a look at the inside here. Starting over here, we have, uh, it's a Lego treasure chest, but I think Bilbo uses it to like get fuel into his fire because there is a little shovel there. And if we turn even more, that was my instruction manual falling off. We have Sting right here. Just kept for kind of display because he doesn't need it in Hobbiton. A couple of jars on the windowsill. The inside of the door. And again, that does open and close. If we move out. He's got lots of maps. Let me grab one of these for you. It actually has... Oh, you can read that. Merkwood. They did a really good job of making these maps look like real Lord of the Rings maps. There's a little barrel with an apple in it. And then we get to the fun part in the kitchen. First off, we have this little broom here if you need to clean up. Um, a sword and a, uh, a frying pan are over the fireplace. Can I bring that fireplace up? There's a couple little um, clear orange pieces in the fireplace so it looks like the fire is actually lit. And over here we have Bilbo's book and his little quills and ink for writing. Over here, we have a bottle and one of his party invitations. And then, the coolest part, the food. <laughs> so this dining table, there's two seats behind here as well that you can't see, so it fits six people, which it comes with six characters, that works out. Two plates, chicken, and it's got a little thing on the back so you could stick it into something. These tiny little cherries. Let's see if I can get them to show. I've never had Lego cherries before. They're so tiny. We have a big baguette for one of the dwarves to eat. And a big pretzel for one of the dwarves to eat. There are also two chalices and this looks like a, a bottle that Bilbo's wine or beer would come in probably. Well, it looks like the dwarves have broken into Bilbo's home. He's sitting over here fretting about them breaking all his plates. They're all having a great time with Gandalf, though. I had a good time, too. I hope you did as well, and I will see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Thanks for watching Miss Frodo's Toy Horde. Bye!